In this video you'll get an overview of how you can simulate energy loads using Vasari or the conceptual environment within inside Revit and quickly creating energy models that you can pull into Ecotech analysis for doing more detailed simulations, changing your material properties, orientation, etc. So I have now opened Vasari or it could be the conceptual environment with inside Revit. And what I'm using Revit and Vasari for is really creating uh, energy models with pre-dimensioning glazing that I can quickly pull into Ecotech where I can do more detailed analysis changing the ex exact properties of walls, windows, ceilings, roofs, etc. I also have the ability to look at the results and compare by doing analysis in the cloud, but the engine from the inside Vasari is based on the Do2 energy analysis engine and is based on typically North American constructions. It may not be as useful if you need to use construction standards from other countries and if you want to more deeply understand and control the inputs and results that you get out. You can see that the most of the cooling loads in winter months come from solar heating gain through the windows and you can see that the largest heating loads come from heat loss through the windows in the winter months and we can of course just mark more than one here and compare them uh, visually or we can just mark them out and take them into excel to kind of be able to monitorize our design develop so whether we are working with a very conceptual form we can do analysis on within inside the conceptual energy analysis in Vasari and Revit exporting it out as mass model gpxml or we build up a more detailed model that we're exporting to ecotech using the gpxml using the interior print of the rooms we can effectively take this into ecotech analysis and do simulations of our design so ecotech is really kind of a pretty comprehensive analysis tool so when we pull the model in here of course we need to make sure that the model geometry are functioning in the right way and that means that the directional error should always point from the inside to the outside and the relation that we can check out here in the selection information between the parent and the child object should always be calculated correct. So to make sure that these links are really set together the right way, click fix links and mark the two ones below here and say okay. So now the model is ready to do thermal analysis with inside Ecotech. So let's go to the analysis tab and the first thing I'll look at is the heating and cooling loads in here. So you see that because I, in user preferences, set it to be kilowatt hours. And I've got a number here that I can put out in a report to compare in Excel or just using it in here. Other way I can do is to say store results. And I'm now able to go to select by elements here, type walls and go to the materials and just right click the materials and change, for example, okay, I want to change the U values for 0 0.14, apply changes, close, and then I can recalculate my design. So you see, th this really didn't make the largest impact. So, but I c what I can see here is that I have some, some cooling needs during the summer and some heating needs during the winter. So what I'll do next is that I will try to identify where does these loads come from. And to do this, I'll go to Passive Gains Breakdown, which is a very cool graph that can show me the relations of the different loads within inside my project. So what I can see here is that above the line, this is where my gains are, and below, this is where my losses are. So you'll see that because of the very good U values of materials, I really reduced the amount of conductivity to materials but I have a, some, a lot of gains here during the summer because of, of direct solar. So what I could do now is that I could go in and say, okay, this is something that I'll go in and I'll look at my windows, select my windows, and to look at properties and say, okay, 0 0.7, I want to change this to be an energy, energy window here, say okay, and then recalculate to see the effect. So now you'll see that I really had some value of doing this and I can go back to my monthly load discomfort. I can say store results, store results, and I can recalculate to see the impact of the changes that I did to my material. So changing the material is one thing. You see that this was quite helpful. I'm now down to re reduce my, my cooling loads a lot. As you see, I also increased 
my heating loads in the winter period, which can seem strange, but because cooling is more expensive and a lot of time in relation to the comfort of the building, this is really what I'm looking for. So that I having a small amount of more heating during the winter because of the lesser helpful heat gain in that period is really not what I was looking for here. So the next thing I could do is go into my model to begin to work with solar shading, begin to work with uh, the orientation of my building. So you see that just changing materials or working with orientation is very fast because you don't change any geometry. But as soon as you're changing geometry, you need to recalculate the shading condition from inside the model. And that's when Ecotech kind of triple the time that you'll spend doing these simulations. But really effective to work with this program. And in the next video, I'll go more into details with this.